Hello, Collective. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching as always. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on with this story of ours. So here we have the Four of Swords out here. There could be someone that is overcoming some type of illness. Now, this illness could be something that this person contracted through laying with someone else, maybe a loose person, a loose cannon, or someone just maybe contracted some type of Ill illness in some way, shape, or form that they are overcoming, right? Um, this person is also coming up with a plan on how to bring justice into a situation that they took, they, they partook in in the past, excuse me. Um, and this is something that is sitting heavy on their heart. This person also knows that when they bring justice into this situation or take action to bring justice into this situation, it's going to lead to some type of new beginning for you and them, right? So this is what this person wants. There could be something that has been revealed to this person that you and him or her have some type of divine contract. This person has a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of love in their heart for you. This could be someone that is sitting down or, you know, watches you or thinks about you and is, you know, having some type of fantasy about you as well. They daydream a lot about you. Even when they go to bed, they're thinking about you. This is someone who, like, you have taken up their entire mental space. All they think about is you and having this new beginning with you and things like that. Um, this person does have a little bit of fear um, to come towards you, but they are still choosing to go forward, to go for it, right? To make this move and come towards you. There's something this person wants to reveal to you, and this has to do with some type of collaboration that took place in the past. They want to show you or tell you exactly what was going on because there's something you don't know about the situation that took place. So you may have taken yourself out of a situation or you're just, you've just been uh, avoiding some type of situation. You don't want to be part of it. You maybe uh, took yourself away from a group of people that didn't have any good intentions for you or something like that. Um, but whatever the circumstance is, this person wants to come towards you and reveal the truth about you about a collaboration that took place this is someone that's also watching you so you could have a social media platform or this is just someone that is keeping track of you in some way shape or form and i don't mean that as far as like a gps tracker or anything like that i just means that this person could be asking people about you to see how you're doing or as i mentioned mentioned social media if you have a social media platform, this person is watching you to kind of see how you're doing and things like that. This person is extremely fearful of reaching out to you. Uh, so they've been watching you for quite a long time. The thing they want to talk to you about has to do with some type of money that was stolen from you or some type of resource or opportunity that was stolen from you. This was something that was supposed to lead to a brand new passionate beginning for you in the past, but it was stolen it was either stolen from you or from someone in relations to you, or it was stolen from this masculine and they are trying to take care of this matter before coming to you. So this person could have been sick. Maybe someone tried to poison this person to maybe on a life then so they wouldn't go to court. So maybe this person is going through some legal, uh, some legalities, some court procedures, um, and they're hoping that when they come out of this, uh situation that these courts proceedings and things like that they can come out and come towards you with a new offer and start brand new with you right so this is someone that has a lot of energy this is someone who maybe in the past was quite the ladies man um and he is learning how to tame that side of him this is someone that is getting in touch with their spiritual side they're going through like a healing right uh, so maybe you're not aware of this person, um, but they are going through some type of uh, change, some type of awakening, some type of healing so that they can come towards you and make a genuine offer, right? Uh, so there's something going on about finances in this situation. Someone is having to protect their finances from maybe a Jesse Bell or just some type of um, maybe an institution or someone, maybe they're going through a divorce or some type of separation uh there's some type of legalities that are going on and this person is having to protect their resources because someone is trying to strip them of their resources and make them broke right this person want this person to be out on the street homeless and things like that right so they have quite a lot going on right now so you may not hear from this person immediately uh so 
It may take a little while for them to come towards you. As you know, court proceedings take quite a lot of time um, depending on the situation that is going on. So this person has quite a lot that they're having to balance at the moment or juggle at the moment. There is something in their life, maybe some type of revelation was given to them that they did not take seriously in the past. But that action of not taking things seriously has come back to bite them in the butt. They may be facing some type of loss. Um, they may be f facing some type of um, rejection. There's something going on. This person may be leaving something out in the cold uh, in order to move forward. They may be losing quite a lot of resources, but they want to make something known to you. They want to come towards you and speak the truth. You're showing up here as the queen of swords. This means that you're someone, someone highly intellectual, very smart, straightforward, quote through with your words. You don't do it in a malicious way. This is just how you are genuinely, naturally, and people may take it the wrong way. There's something in regards to finances that was supposed to be given to you. You may have had some type of inheritance, uh, some type of job opportunity. There's something, right? You connecting with this person is going to lead to you to having some type of successful union, right? You two will be able to build some type of beautiful reality for each other and you will be helping other people as well once this union comes together and uh, becomes what it's supposed to be, right? So you have a beautiful legacy that you two are going to be building together. Um, but there is just some type of stagnation going on because this person is in some type of situation that is not extremely uh, uh, fitting or healthy for them. They may be in some type of toxic union or mindset or something, but they are going through a healing process. Everything this person is going through is for their own healing, is for their growth, is for their maturity. So you should, if you're single right now and you want to connect with someone, do not be desperate to do that. You need to appreciate the fact that this person is going through what they're going through because they're going to come out of this experience a whole new person, a brand new person, right? So there are people in the background of this person, the fact that they started off with the full of source, there are people in the background that are against this person coming towards you, right? So people may have taken actions to bring an ending to this person to uh, make sure that they were not able to give you this offer. So this could be someone that is extremely successful with the pink of wands being out here. This is someone that may own their own business or they are just really, they're doing really well in life for themselves. And they see you as someone extremely genuine, someone compassionate, someone authentic, rare. Um, they see you as someone that, you know, thinks outside of the box, right? You're not like everybody else. And they admire this eccentricity about you. Um, so they want to kind of come towards you so you two can steal the calmer waters. So some of you may know who this person is and some of you may not. But the fact that the Six of Swords is out here means that a lot of you are aware of who this masculine is that wants to come towards you so that you two can seal the karma waters. There may have been some type of betrayal in the past is why this person wants to come towards you and fix things before you two can move forward. Um, this person is moving on away from something that's just not serving their highest good anymore, right? This person is having some type of appreciation for you. They're seeing you for who you really are now. There was some type of campaign, smear campaign going on in the past that people may have done to cause this person to have some type of wrong judgment about you. This person judged you wrongly in the past, but they are seeing you for exactly who you are, right? So this person is overcoming an illness. They're taking action to come towards you. Maybe this illness or this life event that they are going through or went through opening their eyes in a way that has never been opened before. And they are learning that they need to go for what, the, what they want in life, right? So they're leaving something out in the cold, taking charge of their life. They're having a, a fresh start basically in life. And no matter how cold or hard it's going to be, they are choosing to take charge of their life so that they can come out um, on the better side, on the brighter side, and start off brand new, right? There have There's something going on court-wise. Um, the fact that we have the Justice card out here and the Three of Pentacles, there's some type of meeting that is going on with um, in the justice system or with some type of organization to correct or to reveal the truth about something that took place. 
it could be that there are people doing things behind the scenes and they think that other people are not aware of things that they're of the things that they are doing but they really are um and this is being exposed that people really know the truth about the actions these people took in the past to cause some type of blockage right to cause this masculine to juggle you to to mismanage you and things like that to miss an opportunity with you basically right because this person is finding out that you are wish fulfillment you are their you were their uh chance at a new beginning um they may be extremely pissed off at things like these people did maybe these were groups of family and friends with them um if we are looking at the previous part of this story this was probably possibly the same person that was being betrayed by his friends and family except he showed up as a king of pentacles in the uh previous reading and now he's showing up as a king of wands because he is taking charge of his life and moving on right he's moving on from these people because whatever it is that they did is just unforgivable is how he is seeing it uh so this person is turning a new leaf and they're hoping that when they come towards you you're going to not be too defensive towards them not push them away as you can see we have the ace of cups out here the two of pentacles the two of cups and the strength this is letting me know that you two are going to have genuine emotions for, for each other so you will have the type of relationship where there is reciprocity right um so it's equal gift and take this is the two of you's chance at a brand new passionate beginning right so whatever relationship that you two were in before maybe his had to do with like menage twice and things like that just really uh, things that had to do with the flesh. However, this connection with you is going to be something that is spiritual, something that is divinely guided, right? You two are uh, a twin flame, soul twins, soul mates, whatever people want to call it. Uh, so this is going to be a connection of a higher status in the spirit realm and in the physical. So this is something that's a little different for him. In the past, he may have juggled this relationship, but he has now made a decision to come towards you. You two are not just going to be having a romantic a romantic relationship together. This is something that's going to be business as well. So you two are going to be starting some type of business together and it's going to be extremely prosperous. It's going to take a lot of strength and effort on the both of you's part for this relationship to work out. Um, and this masculine is aware of that. You're going to have to forgive this person in some way, shape or form. So just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. Yeah, so this is something that's divinely guided. You can expect to hear from this masculine, and I'm not going to give you a time frame, but you can expect to hear from this person once things settle down in their life. Um, they're going. They, they, this is. I'm so sorry. This is someone that has fulfillment in life, as I mentioned here with them being the King of Wands. They have all of the material fulfillment. This could be someone that it's not exactly you know. Um, reserve with his money he gives loosely to people and so there may be people in the background that have been taking advantage of him this person could have also been forced in some type of union that he was not 100 percent sure about and now he's trying to get out of that because this person that he ended up marrying due to the advice of his family or even if it's not marriage or just get some type of relationship he got into due to the advice of his family the, the other person may have been trying to steal from him and now he's trying to get away from her. This person is now hoping to have success with you. This is someone that is seeing you as someone extremely creative, innovative, and things like that. The two of you are the same. You're like the female version of this man and he's the male version of you. So you two are going to have success together, right? This person is waiting for some type of financial payout, uh, financial uh, um blessing there's something he's waiting on that has to do with finances this could be someone that has a lot of different uh um, income sources or streams of income uh, so he owns multiple businesses and things like that so this is something this person wants you to be a part of because they know you are extremely wise extremely smart this person finds you to be extremely beautiful and intellectual as well so they know that you are not just a, 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 a eye catcher but you you also have the brains right so you're like a triple threat um you're family oriented you're smart you're wise and then you're beautiful on top of that you take care of yourself um so you're a triple threat for this person you're like a dream come true yeah this person wants to give you an offer 
right? This person wants to come in and give you like a little offer so that they can see how you're going to use that, how you're going to um, invest that into yourself, right? Um, this person wants to see what it is you're going to do with this offer that they give you, right? Are you going to use it to multiply things in your life or are you going to go and spend it on purses, shoes, and things like that? But this person already knows um, that the seed that they're going to plant with you is something that's going to flourish. They're not, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to flourish. The both of you are going to be new to each other. So some of you, because this person is from your past, does not mean that this is someone you dated. This could have been someone you worked with, but you two did not have the chance to be together, right? So um, you two are extremely giving, nurturing, and things like that. There could be some type of social event that's coming on, coming um, about or coming up that this person is going to be attending and they will they would like you to attend as well. So some of you could be invited to some type of social event, right? These, these are, um, let me, let me fix that. This person is seeing you as someone that is family focused. You really love your children and things like that. Some of you have grandchildren and things like that, but they see you as someone extremely nurturing, caring, very charitable and things like that. So they want to give you something small, right? So that they can see what you're going to do with it. Um, and you're, and from what we're seeing here, you're going to be able to flip that into something abundant for yourself and you'll be sharing with other people. And this is someone that daydreams a lot about you, as I said, and this is someone that has a lot of emotions for you. Um, just be mindful. This person may be overcoming some type of mindset or additions, if you know what I mean. Um, this is like a ladies' men, which is kind of cool, cool, correlating with what I mentioned earlier, right? This is someone you have to be mindful of in the sense that they can fall in love quickly, but then it can change really quickly as well. So this could be something someone this this could be something that he is learning to overcome, right? Yeah. So he's going from this and becoming this, right? So he has the emotions for you. He's just coming up with a way to express his emotions for you. He's learning how to calm himself, heal himself, become a little bit more wiser um, and things like that, because this is a character that is a little bit more mature than you. Um, so even though he's showing up here as the King of Cups, he's a little more mature because of the hermit being out here. This is someone that's older in age but they are young at heart young in the mind so they are going through some type of change to learn how to balance those aspects of themselves but this person wants to reach out to you um and confess something to you confess their love to you make something clear to you make something known to you as well it's why we have the hermit out here this person is having a hard time keeping their emotions to themselves as well with the knight of cups and the hermit being out here together this is someone that's holding quite a lot in, right? But they're going through some type of awakening as well while they're going through all of these experiences. And this is all due to you. They may have had some type of revelation. There could have been something that was exposed to this masculine about you as well. And this is something that has led to them going through some type of awakening in their life. And they may appreciate the fact that they met you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this person wants to marry you is what i'm hearing someone wants to marry you okay so i'm going to leave it here we'll follow up with this story again i'm so glad like the energy is changing because lord the first two messages it was just so much drama who and it was just so hard to get through the second one because there was just so much energy in there of toxicity and things like that but this one seems a little bit more genuine and a little bit more of uplifting and positive I'm so glad that this person is taking the chance to go through all of these healing, um, the, the, the healing in life and things like they're wanting better for themselves as well. So anyways, I will see you in my next reading. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now. Stay blessed.